lynching our black children. Residents of Palmdale, California, say it is the site of a modern-day lynching. 24-year-old Robert Fuller was found hanging from a tree near City Hall early Wednesday morning. For a black man to be hung in a tree near City Hall, that's a message. You don't understand our pain! Residents were outraged Friday when city officials announced their initial findings. It appears that Mr. Fuller has tragically died by suicide. Hey! <laughs> it's apparent Mr. Nogan has died on suicide. How do you know? How, where where are your detective skills, the things that you would normally do to figure out, hey, was this person suicide? People don't just commit suicide for the fun of it, okay? There's some things people do and it's like, ooh, this might look like but it wasn't planned. You know, there, there's some of those things, you know. This, you have to get your rope or whatever material you have to get, you know. Anyway, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. There's some planning that has to go into it and wherever you're gonna do it, you need to make sure it's gonna be able to have the strength to uphold you. Otherwise, next thing you know, you're back on the floor. So there's some very logistical, there's some logistical things that need to be in place for something like this to occur. So if the, you have to be super, It'll be just every now and again that you find people that maybe nobody knew they were That happens too, but it's not very often. Now you're having a very short amount, space of time, that this happens twice to black men. A very short space of time. That is odd. What the heck? Hmm, tell them. Now, five days after mm -hmm. Fuller was found, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, which oversees Palmdale, says it's taking another look. The oh. initial reports appeared uh, to be consistent with the suicide, um, but we um, felt it prudent uh, to, to roll that back uh, and continue to, to look deeper. Why is homeboy so nervous? <laughs> like, what? Uh, 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 um, Mm. Oh, oh, uh, he's not sure what he's saying. Uh, you know, the guy's nervous. Why is he so nervous? Like, there's something very matter of fact about what's taking place. It's all factual. You know, if you are trying to make up stuff or you don't stand behind your say what you're saying, that's when you act kind of like how this guy is acting here. It should be very matter of fact. We don't actually think there's grounds to say that this is that. We think it is, in fact, more than that, and we're going to investigate. Like, you can just say that one, two, three, boom, boom, bam, bam. And I'm hesitating now because I don't want to say the word because, you know, in these YouTube streets, there's so many words that you cannot say, but you know what I mean. Uh, regarding uh, a chair or something similar found at the scene, there was nothing. The sheriff. Y'all mean to tell me. <laughs> He went up there somehow by by how and then he went up there and then the, the chair magically disappeared so you guys saw the person but somebody just came by and removed the chair or he flew up there did the deed and so there was no chair like what is the logic behind all of this that's what I want to know personally because I'm confusion because you can't even see the scene of the crime and then come away from that and concluding that oh yeah this was this was s he committed s you can't you can't you shouldn't have even come out with that statement see this is why people are always in a state of outrage and i have another video about this called this is why we're in a state of constant outrage because constantly certain things are happening that do not make sense to anybody normal civilians on the street we know this doesn't make sense but these guys that are supposedly trained and there's a lot of them on these cases all seem to agree that yes let's let's just say he committed s even though it's impossible to commit s according to the crime scene that we saw but let's just say that why is it to make black people outraged is it to make his family hurt more is it to show him as a reckless person and or life is just off the rails and they couldn't take it anymore. Like, is there some sensationalist, you know, some sensationalism that they want to get out of some of these stories? These are people's lives. These are people's lives. That's somebody's brother. That's somebody's son, you know? Regarding a chair or something similar found at the scene, there was nothing. Department announced it would begin reviewing seemingly basic evidence. Initially, we are going to do forensics on the, the rope that was involved. We look to contact the witness who located him in the park and those who may have seen him in the past few days prior to his death. But residents say more should have been done. If it was another race, if it was a white boy, well, he'd be on it. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, that's Just right. 10 days ago, as Black Lives Matter rallies continued nationwide, another black man, Malcolm Harsh, was discovered hanged from a tree 
less than 60 miles from where Fuller was found. Let me tell you something about black people okay we as a people have that history of slavery okay this is what was down to us a lot of the punishment besides any other inhumane thing that you can think about in this world hanging people from trees and whatever else was a very common thing that they did i'm not saying that's the only time in history but that was a big part of slavery you can't tell me that any black man is going to choose that as a way to go it just there is something, there's a message behind doing that. Now, two black men in a space, short space, short space of time, you cannot tell me that they both decided to commit S in this particular manner. That is not only so stigmatized, or no, what, what is even the word? It's not stigmatized. There's so much, there's so much trauma attached to that particular way of passing with black people that i don't think that two black men not ages like in a short space of time would decide to do this same thing how does that make sense sound like a plan to me the san bernardino county sheriff's department says it found no indications of foul play and that the 38 year old hanged himself harsh's family like fuller's says no way we believe that both these two young black men were the victims of a possible hate crime. Now the families of both men are calling for independent investigations, according to a shared spokesman. Both families have stated both men were looking forward to enjoying their life, mm. and both hangings make no sense whatsoever. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The Justice Department, as well as the FBI Civil Rights Division, is reviewing both of these cases. City officials say they will cooperate with federal authorities. But just to underscore the level of suspicion, I talked to many Palmdale residents who don't even believe that Fuller was hanged from that tree, mm -hmm. that perhaps his body was brought there. It is a very small tree, no broken branches. It looks undisturbed. And having seen that tree for myself, you can certainly understand their suspicions. Just one of the many questions that need to be asked. I, I have so many questions I don't even know what to do with myself it's like we've come to a point in society where the people like when i was a kid when i was a kid and i learned i relearned this real quick when i was a kid i thought that all these people in this profession were like angels actual angels now surely you have angels everywhere and you, therefore you also have demons all over the place but i thought these people were like angels i'm now coming to find out that those very people that are supposed to protect us serve us be alongside us be our friends be our confidant be our whatever you want to call these people it's it seems that a lot of them are just not that these are not people these are not people that you can trust these are not people that are doing their job adequately nor do they know how to do their job adequately. I'm very confused about what's going on in the world right now. It's like everything is reversed, you know. Words like corrupt cop, I never thought that could be in the same sentence. I just thought, I didn't even know that that could be a thing because all cops were good, right? But then it's, oh, there's a few rotten apples, as DT said a while ago, that, oh, there's a few rotten apples. And we are not talking about a few rotten apples here. Because if it was just a few rotten apples, there wouldn't be this many things. It's every day. It's every single day, you guys. Every single day, a new thing comes out. Oh, this one's been killed. Oh, this one's police brutality. It's every day. And before this, we of the black community, yes, us members of the black community, we knew about these things. All this stuff was circulating around and we were actually picking it up. It's most of y'all, the rest of y'all, that were just turning a blind eye like, okay, well, that's unfortunate. But let me scroll through my Instagram feed and see what else is there. But we been you. I don't know what to say. Do you have anything else to say? I'm done. But done. We need to keep on. Keep on. Keep me on protesting. Keep on looking for something that will make us survive. We are not asking for anything. We just want to survive and live a normal life. What's wrong about that? You can't be black. But we didn't make ourselves black. God created us like this. And it's beautiful. It's nice. It more sure than is. Beautiful. It's more than beautiful. Yes. It's over perfect. beautiful. It is super beautiful. If you're black and you're out there and you're having some kind of identity crisis because Lord knows people go through that. Black is beautiful. And I'm so happy to see all this positivity in the media and out there and brands that are supporting us. Ditch those that don't. If you go on somebody's Instagram feed and all you see is white, 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 no, no black, no, no Asian, no, no, nothing in between. Bye. Ciao, adios. We, we, we getting rid of that real quick because it's time we stop investing in and putting our money into these companies and places that don't care about us. They really just don't care about us. They don't think that putting a black person on their covers of magazines or on their Instagram feed is going to give them what they want.
is going to give them the you know it's going to give them the dough that that it's going to generate income it's going to generate you know traction from people they don't think people are gonna you know um yeah. that's yeah. the word they don't think people are gonna patronize their product because there's a dark-skinned person on there or just a black person on there and people will learn really fast because as black people we make the money we spend the money we love taking care of ourselves every day is a self-care day to us most of us not everybody but yeah we love to love on ourselves we love to love on people that's just that's really like if you're watching this and you have a black friend you know what i'm talking about like we love to love ourselves we love to love other people we love to lavish ourselves with things i'm not even talking about expensive it can be dirt cheap but still always like something to make you feel good and positive about yourself all i'm trying to say is if you look at the economy black people's zolas euros or pounds really go into t into things material things we like material things it seems yeah because when a black person gets money you will know that they have money that's just it's just factual nothing wrong with it all you see some of these things they have they trace back to slavery and coming from slavery and not having anything and not having anything not having anything i mean you all your family that you've ever known is po 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 and you finally make it well now you gotta flaunt it that's how some people are okay so black people love to spend their cash so if you're a makeup brand and you think there's no there's no room there for black people or whatever you are seriously mistaken and you're a bit silly too because you're missing out on a lot of money we also need to feel beautiful we also want to hide blemishes and spots and dots and scars and whatnot obviously See, this is where you see that you're not really seen as a human being because people would always tell me, your face looks beautiful, oh my gosh. And I would see 5,000 pimples on my face. I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay, maybe I should reevaluate my, myself. Maybe, maybe it's me. Maybe it's me just making a bigger thing, make, making a bigger deal out of everything. You know, when you look at yourself in a mirror, you see things that other people don't. But it's, I think it's more that people close their eye to it and just don't want to see like they, they, there's always this narrative oh you guys oh perfect skin and uh, the more i think about it, it's like are people saying that because they believe it or are they just saying that because black people have been oppressed and talked down to for so long that now the opposite is your face can be full of pimples i'm still gonna say i don't see anything just like you don't see color those people who say i don't see color which is not a very ridiculous thing because i'm pretty sure when you see the sky is gray you don't come out with your sunglasses and your hot pants but okay <laughs> you see color then you know when the sky is blue and when the sky is gray you know when the shine, sun is shining through and when it's dark okay let's not play those games but anyway what i'm trying to say is they don't really care about us not really but things are about to change aren't they yeah amen anyway that was it for today if you're not part of this amazing family we talk about everything over here this is a lifestyle channel there's cooking there's god there's food Huh? that's cooking anyway i love food uh what else there's reaction videos there's commentary like this video there's all kinds of videos going on over here so yeah join the family make sure you hit bump stomp as on to that subscribe button comment because i really want to know what you think like because you obviously like this video and learned a lot and whilst you're at it hit the <coughs> notification bell make time for glorious life it's time to start what living it right and I'll see you in the next video. God bless. Mm -hmm.